Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we are going to be using this Vegeta family team that you guys see and we're going to be taking them into PvP and uh, see how that goes for us. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe turn on for more content. And if you're somebody that has been watching the channel for a while that hasn't subscribed, because maybe you think you are subscribed because you get recommended a lot of content, make sure you do turn that subscribe button red. Red? That's the right color, right? <laughs> no, it's red beforehand. No, don't turn it red. That would mean you unsub. Don't turn it red. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, long story short, subscribe and all that fun stuff. Uh, today's video like is also 2000, so this one's going to be a little different. I'm still sitting on a couple of videos I need to put out that I've been promising for a couple of weeks. Those are coming, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but this video is a matches, uh, a few matches that I recorded uh, earlier in the day while I was out and about. I typically talk about how I, you know, sometimes if I get a few minutes to play, I will. Uh, and I really enjoyed those matches, man. And I really want to put them out with you guys and show them for you guys and stuff like that. So we're going to be doing a post-com, which is something that I haven't done in quite a while. And uh, let me know if you guys enjoy it, and we'll see how that goes. I'll try not to pause that much either. Anyways, first match coming your way. All right, so for the first match, we are versus a God Key team. And I remember this match because uh, this was uh, very fun, like I said. And I was really in the zone for this one with all my drop combos and playing around all those stupid cover change characters and stuff. It was, uh, it was pretty interesting. Anyways, so Vegito starts off with a couple of blasts there. He's just trying to play neutral there. See if he can get me with blast armor. I was able to get it there, but this is where it starts turning it up a little bit. Okay, I wasn't sure if he would stay. I, if I was really big braining, I would have went to Vegeta first. I would have got a couple cards, maybe. Vato sub, play around the knock or the uh, card destroy and stuff like that. So yeah, this match I really was in the zone, and uh, I really enjoyed it. Having the ability to drop combo like that or knowing how to drop combo effectively. Is, is one of the things that I think a lot of players really need to excel at or, or can really uh, improve their game by learning how to do that. Now, it does take a level of anticipation because some people will try to bait that out. Like, you'll see me in my videos, I'll miss it sometimes. I'll get it 80% of the time, probably. Is that generous? Let me know. Anyways, some people will bait it out. You won't get it all the time, but if you can land it, it can be very impactful. It can be very, very impactful having that uh, um, work in your favor. So, okay, I got baited out for the sidestep there. And unfortunately, I couldn't help it. I went for the sidestep and got burned. <laughs> so we're going to throw this Vegeta back in there. I'm already kind of facing... It feels like I'm facing, anyway, an uphill battle. But maybe not so much as it, as it kind of feels. Uh, I'm not really talking about stars or things like that. Just more or less the characters. Um, Trunks can hold his own in this match. And his ability to get the key and also the draw speed, another drop here, is super impactful. By the way, right there, I went for the drop. He did not sub. He did not sub, but he did not swipe. Since he didn't swipe, he uh, he got caught in the combo again. That's one of those scenarios where, like, I tried to predict the sub, but he didn't go for it. And he could have, if he was being on his P's and Q's, you know what I'm saying? If he was on his, uh, if he was alert, he could have for sure, uh, he could have for sure got me there. So I turned a single tap into a rush here, and I'm good to go. Overall, we've been able to pretty much control this match. And um, this could have really went either way. This is one where I was sitting up, like, at the beginning of the match, I was looking at that team, I was like, nope, I'm sitting up. Let's do this. UI's here. He doesn't see a point. He's like, nah, we're not going to win this one. <laughs> All right, so here's match number two. Full Zenkai squad. I just want to say, that looks that looks a lot more scary than it actually is in practice. Now, that might be, you know, me saying that from a position of being able to do the same thing. Maybe some people, you know, obviously, we're going to struggle a lot more with that type of composition than I will. But I just don't, I just don't think the full Zenkai teams or flashy teams like that are what you really, really need in a lot of cases. Maybe just, you know, your, your staple Zenkais and stuff like that. At a certain point, with all the, not even Zenkais, but like the Zenkai buffs and stuff, he's not really doing that a ton on his team. But at a certain point, I'd rather just have Z abilities, man, because characters start missing out, you know, stuff like that. Even his team here, this is a really good Super Saiyan team, but team composition-wise, they can't have more than what? Some of these characters probably have like three Z abilities and stuff like that. You know, to be fair, I, on that same topic, it, it's not the biggest deal because they are Zenkai's with Zenkai stats, right? I go for the swipe here. Unfortunately, most people are going to turn that exact play there. I went for the swipe, he sidestepped there, and then he got me. Most people turn that stop clock right there into an immediate strike, which means if you swipe there after you miss the stop clock, you're going to get a perfect. He did a sidestep. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm just, um, long story short, what I was saying with the team thing, it can go either way. Build a team how you want, obviously. But I personally don't really respect that type of team composition. I think it's a lot, it's a little lag here. I think it actually looks a lot more scary than it is. But again, it could just be me from the position that I'm in. Anyways, I'm going to go for the double blues here. The Force of Vanish. 
And if I don't get the vanish, that's cool to get the damage. All right, this time I won't sidestep. I learned from that one. See, he was waiting for me too. I was like, oh man, I can't believe I sidestepped last time we were in an intera inter interaction like that, right? <laughs> this time I don't go for it. I get rid of the scariest unit on his team, in my opinion, because I, I've been playing around the Broly and his barriers and stuff like that all match, and I will continue to do that. Bardock is pretty powerful, uh, but I'm not worried about him. Uh, you can vanish this dude's barrier, so he's a lot easier to deal with than, uh, you know, people kind of know, I guess. All right. And when Trunks gets going, he's very powerful. Unfortunately, I didn't really have all the cards I needed. You really want to start a combo with a full hand, like maybe like two or three strikes, and then you can get the draw speed and then the blast for the key and stuff like that. He really can pop off. Unfortunately, I didn't get that. See me drawing back here, see if I can maybe get him to commit. He does actually land a hit there. Not ideal. I sock off Trunks just because the other two characters have type advantage, and I just feel like I didn't need Trunks for this match. Um, I feel very confident in Kid Trunks and Vegeta. I thought he was going to rush there, to be honest. Uh, to be fair, I don't know if he already rushed, but just now I was thinking he might have rushed there. See, I'm trying to play around him. I don't have a strike. I'm kind of uh, susceptible to tackles. He didn't chain it, though. There it is. Yeah, he didn't chain it. He might not have had a strike. I doubt it with that deck. He should have had a strike. Anyways, now the rest of this match turns into who can match up with who better. Um, I am at a disadvantage when I use the single Zenkai team or things like that. But who can match with who better, right? Just stalling for my trunks. I get to see what he's doing. He could have actually vanished there, I believe, but he didn't go for it. And look at trunks going ham. Making light work of Bardock there. And then there was one left, and I got a perfect here, and that's going to do it. Yeah, trunks really was the, the linchpin for this match. He went, he was, he was very, very valuable to us here. Now, the next one, I believe, was, uh, I don't know if it was regen. No, 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 it's this team. Oh, okay. Another uh, pretty much full Zenkai team. I was really hoping he wouldn't bring the Kid Goku. I understand why he did. Kid Goku's still a very phenomenal lead, uh, sub, draw, and stuff like that. You get the point. Uh, or not draw, excuse me, key. Very phenomenal lead still. I take the bait here. He wanted that. I just had no choice. Uh, I missed that too. Starting off really sloppy. I should drift out here. I don't drift out. If you don't have a strike, you typically want to drift out. Anyways, um, I've made a lot of mistakes anyway, long story short. <laughs> I thought I had the blue, because I wasn't tracking the timer counts there. And the funny thing is, it still showed me that I had it, but I didn't have it. So I'm making a lot of mistakes. Double stop clock here. I'm gonna go for the blue, just get the cheap damage, because I know Goku's available. I'll follow up again, just like last match. He did sub immediately, so I did get some damage. We do get the special move buffs as well, so I'm always pretty happy about that. Should've swiped there, could've got out of that. Okay. Just in a weird spot. Don't really feel that comfortable with this match. I keep missing. My timing's off for this match. Just don't feel comfortable. Debating playing around that uh, SS3 Goku. So you're going to see me probably set on my rush here. I went a little quick because I didn't think he's back. But you might see me play around him by uh, sitting on my rush a little bit. Which is not ideal because I'm sure that's what the opponent wants. Very swipe happy for this match. And it got me burned for like the third time as well. I think he strikes here. Oh, no, no, no. He did that, anticipating I was going to sub to Vegeta, but I did not, thankfully. And this Vegeta was immune to the uh, faint there, I seems, so I was good to go. All right. Considered uh, subbing here, but again, trying to keep the matchup favorable. I really want to rush him right here, right now. I was hoping he'd go for, like, a blast or something. He did. He didn't. And then this really pissed me off in the moment. I was like, are you serious? He got me with a rush right there, and that was totally avoidable. I just used the green. He, there was no... He was going to miss that. <laughs> it was totally avoidable. And I was like, man. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? Instead of me getting him with my rush like I was trying to set up, he randomly throws his and he lands it. Hey, man, that's just how the game works sometimes, though, to be fair, right? So I think I drop combo here. Yeah. And once again, drop combo coming in clutch. And Goku is going to sub out, I think, here. I feel like he subs to the Goku again. The Kid Goku for this Goku. I drop combo there. There's a sub. Knock off the Endurance. Vegeta's back. I'm very swipe happy. I'm hoping he tackles here. He did not. Turns into uh, near perfect. Good enough. Have the knockback with the blue for the KO. Also with the v the purple Vegeta's damage buffs. That did 1.8 million for the blue card there. I'm really still hoping to rush this guy. Like, this is what you cannot let happen. 
you cannot let cover rescue units or things like that control your rising rush. You have to use it. You have to use it. <laughs> and I found the window there, but I took way too long. You cannot let them use it or to control it. You have to find a way to use it when you can. Like I said, I, I typically like to fly through like a blast from mid-range or something like that. Like I tried to do, I just couldn't get it. Uh, so it's 1v2. The downside is I get the vanish there, uh, which is what I mainly wanted there. The downside is I'm just left with Trunks, who without his blue really can't do enough damage. I'm kind of hoping to get a blue card here, or more blasts at least, because even though the strikes can do bleed damage, it's just not good enough. It's just not going to cut it. You're going to see me end the combo here in hopes of drawing a blue or more blasts. Even though I could have kept it going, I take the bait there, and this one's a done deal. So anyways, I want to thank all of you for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Unfortunately, I was not able to recover in this match. I started off way too slow. Too many mistakes, but the rest of the matches in this video, I did enjoy. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, stick around for some more content. Have an awesome day, and I'll be seeing all of you in the next video. Oh, by the way, let me know if you guys enjoyed this one. I was winging it, but hopefully it was enjoyable.